So hopefully this is my fourth and final video on this. Um, as you know, you saw in the other video, I've populated the board already. <clears throat> I've done a couple of things since the last video, because uh, this video is mostly going to be, you know, just inserting the chips and assembling it. So I didn't want to do any more soldering. But what I've done here is, uh, you know, I've already put in the 555 timer for the artifacting. I've put in this capacitor. I've added uh, this six pin connector on here so we can easily hook into the RGB THDMI board and an RCA jack for audio coming out. Uh, I've hot glued it in place and I've put in this, you know, uh, what do you call these, uh, fastener here. I guess it's a mounting post or whatever with a zip tie, you know, as a strain relief. I've added um, these adapters, uh, Mr. Dave 6309, 24 pin to 28 pin EEPROM adapters because this board uh, is a recreation of the 8709416 board that had the 24 pin uh, EEPROMs which are hard to get if you can get them and I mean like why did they ever make those, right? Whatever. So 28 pins are much easier to get and you can get new ones. But in order to put this one in here, I had to move a capacitor that I was crashing into here down to the bottom of the board. And you can see that here. So yeah, let's start populating, um, putting in the chips. is basically built um, let's burn the ROMs so first we're gonna burn the color basic ROM And this burns pretty quickly. It's an older ROM, so it takes, or EEPROM, takes a little longer, but you know, it's not too long. And there we go. And next, we're going to burn the extended other basic ROM. And for that, I'm going to have to change the chip. It's a different chip. And. And there it is. Let's load it. OK. 
Okay. So, type of program. And that looks much faster. And voila. Now, the two chips are programmed. Okay, so next, let's pop in the ROMs. First, we're going to put in the color basic ROM. Okay, next, the extended color basic ROM. Okay, now we're going to put in the keyboard. So this keyboard is a nice aftermarket keyboard. This is a Mr. Drave 6309 Cherry Cocoa keyboard. And it's got a nice little thin PCB here that goes into the Mylar ribbon connector. Okay, and then it's got two leads to power LEDs on the board. And I've temporarily, you know, hooked these up this way. So let's see if they actually plug in because I think I might have messed up the connector. Okay, seems to grab enough. Okay, it's a nice looking keyboard. Again, a Mr. Dave 6309 Cherry Coco keyboard. Very responsive, nice feedback, just enough click. Let's put the cover on. And so this cover, okay, this top half of the Coco, we don't remember is from another Coco. So these two halves are not from the same Coco, but enough of the posts line up that we can actually put screws in. Now, I think I think this is the side that doesn't have a post, but it's fine. We don't need them all. Maybe this is the side of this hell post. Oh yeah. This side doesn't have a post, so it's but there is one over here. Okay, and then of course, is it this one? Yeah, the keyboard is. No, not that one. Um, yeah. Okay. We have it. We have this one loose one over here. But... Now it's time to test it. Okay, let's see how these games look. So let's play a bit of Canyon Climber. How's it look? Not the right color. So I'm going to go over here and change the phase because I can do that with the RGB to HDMI board. That looks right, I think. Let's do a practice game. And the clothes are off again. But we can change we can fix that. That looks right. The way it looks and the way it sounds. Okay, I'm not very face bar. I do joystick. That looks pretty cool. I don't know what I'm doing. Come on, guys, guys. Sounds cool, that's for sure.
And again, you know, the video does not do the game any justice. It looks, or rather the, the way this looks in person is fantastic. And of course, okay, there we go. That looks good. I don't know, let me see if I can make it a little, look a little bit more crisp. I don't know, that looks pretty good to me. Can I do that? I, no, that's worse. Anyways, there it is. So I hope you've enjoyed, you know, my little video here on you know, what I did for September, it was fun. It was challenging to find time to actually do this. And this last video was kind of rushed because I will not have time to do it this coming week. But, you know, again, you know, thanks for watching. Now I'm going to have fun with my new Coco 2. I'm gonna play, I don't know, Vaxxon maybe.